Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Heck, first my trick here and that was not planned. <laughs> uh, no, this game takes a bit... Well, for some reason it takes a bit to uh, get caught by, o by OBS. Probably because it's an old ass game. Let me check the box here because yes, it is old enough to be a physical copy. Uh, let's see, 2001, we are really just sticking around the end of the 90s and the beginning of the zeros with our games lately, huh? <laughs> yeah, and I actually own one of the games, A Lunar Dog Inferno, and apparently I actually seen a review of this story, and apparently me and my friend were not the only one getting stuck on the very first car race thingy going okay. on there. And yeah, <laughs> welcome to Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare, which is the fourth game in the series. And uh, I can't say I've played this ever before. Also, that was a very oddly shaped hand there. And uh, yeah, Alone in the Dark is basically the, well, by many, it's seen as the progenitor of the survival horror uh, genre. And uh, yeah, it, one little fact also, during the uh, installation of this game, the setup actually showed uh, yeah, actually showed the previous games, but uh, anyway. Uh, what we are doing tonight is, well, it's a showcase Sunday, number 65 to be accurate, where we show off, well, up four to five games, depending on how things go, uh, for about half an hour each, and well, the first of these is Alone in the Dark in a New Nightmare, as we've said. So let's start the timer and start the game. I think you messed up that line. Foster, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. Anyways, we'll, we'll give this game about 30 minutes. Uh, we'll see if it's for uh, fun for streaming or not, depending on that. That's the bit I think I forgot. <laughs> uh, more of, I think you said four out of five and it's three out of four uh, four uh, four or five games i typically have four ready and a fifth in backup just in case also those are some weird gargoyles yeah Candy, they did not skip like they i hope you had a safe trip now, i can already hear you ranting but i've taken on a new case i know i know i promised i'd quit but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obit Morton and the Abcanis writing tablets. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Since when is it a wall or desk? <laughs> if you want to contact Johnson, is it 555-1495? Boston Police Department. Name Fisk. First name Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. I'm guessing with that they mean that whoever went out there got themselves killed. And uh, hello there, Starbucks C17. Uh, we, are we are first giving, uh, well, here's the title. <laughs> Timing. Somewhere we are giving. United States, it, October 31st, 2001. 1800 hours, 43 minutes. Uh, so, they'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her. We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Yeah, to give a quick recap, we are going to be trying four to five games for about half an hour each. And hello, <laughs> Agent 47. Miss Cedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline. When we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhanis stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. 
Thank you. Yeah, I'm Starbuck. very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. A bit janky voice, you know, not voice Pretty acting, lip syncing. <laughs> We get a choice uh, like it, i test these games a bit before uh, starting off uh, i was a, uh, i had another game planned for today but it wasn't cooperating with well it wasn't just co cooperating in general with the resolution of, of my monitor so we could uh, i couldn't get that to work for this with that game would have been another world the 20th anniversary edition and uh, yeah, we can actually select our character here. We have Aline Cedric, 27 years old. Uh, <clears throat> seven, yeah, 27, uh, 27 years old. Uh, I'm getting my, <laughs> getting my tongue tied because in Dutch, the last number is typically said first. Like 27, we would uh, say seven and 20. Anyways. She is an ethnology uh, professor at the Boston University. Characteristics, father unknown. Well, that's an odd characteristic. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. And then we have Edward Cornby, 33 years old, private eye. And his characteristic is he is... owns a double barrel gun. No. You mean she? Yep. Edward and we have Aline. She. Oh! <laughs> Did you get the two mixed up? I, I was wondering. I thought the text was to be on top of the character, not next to them. Nope. <laughs> that, okay. That be... <laughs> okay. Now it makes sense, but still, it's not the other thing about unknown father is not a character. This is still. Have you heard that in a review? The people agree that that's not a character. This is. Nor is this one. Yeah. When you're defining character trait is you own a gun, you have no character. But yeah, which of these two would you say we should follow? Also, this is a good reason for why uh, different characters would actually start in different areas, because they jumped out of the fucking plane at different times. Dear. Good question. Do we go with uh, black shirt, leather jackets... <laughs> Gun and probably edgy as all fuck, or with uh, redhead and cleavage. Did you? What? Okay, <laughs> I'm just I, being I stupid. I just got, <laughs> just yeah, I just got caught off guard how you <laughs> described her. <laughs> uh, split for. I think I prefer uh, Aline, uh, Aline, but the other guy is kind of like, he kind of looks like you in an odd way. At least you're VTuber model, in a weird way, you two look well, similar. Well, the jacket used to be brown, <laughs> so I guess we're going with Edward then. Alone in the dark. In a very Resident Evil tele title to start. Okay, I I only know of the legacy of uh, the Alone in the Dark system, and we have tank controls. We also have a flashlight besides our pistol. Uh, I don't actually know if there is an overarching story across all games, or if each of them is different. I'm sure. I think it's a mix of yes and no. Carnby, answer me, please. 
Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about 100 yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? <laughs> Help me, for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. There's a bunch of trees in the way as well, dumbass. I can see you now. Okay, I see you too. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, oh, that... then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. Uh, can we take a look at this gun? But uh, yeah, I think I noticed something weird about it. It it has two of the uh, I forget the, what the name is. That it has two of the spinny things. Cylinder. Cylinder. Yeah, it has it has two freaking cylinders. <laughs> yeah, but why does it do? Wait, it got two pipes, but the barrels. Yeah, it, it it's double barreled. <laughs> it's double a double barreled barrel revolver. Double. Wait, I think there has been a tip to make a gun like that, and... Uh, if I uh, remember what happened with that gun was a disaster. If it's double action, does it make it triple... Uh, no, <laughs> quattro action in this case. Well, if I remember right, the gun that tried to do it like that in real life ended up... Um, very poor before and, and easily breaking. Yeah, a lot more moving parts. And that was me holding shift to see if I could actually run. Ooh, uh, hello. What the heck? Okay, we can take aim with control. And I'm guessing that is our health bar. On the uh, right are side. You, are you yeah, something? Hmm? You're playing a horror game. Yep. You do realize what this means, right? <laughs> what then? Jump scares? <laughs> Moreover, you, you said you probably never will play horror games one time. Well, not the not the horror games like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's and such, the jump scare uh, fests and uh, all that. Yeah, right? This would probably be more... Yeah, I'm, I mean, did I say it earlier? I'm, but I'm guessing very big... Oh, we can actually go this way. I'm getting big uh, Resident Evil 2 vibes from this. It's a fair oh, comparison. The, the all differences, of course, but uh, definitely similarities. Yeah, this is probably going to be more of a cosmic horror thing than a zombie horror thing. Yeah, I think there are zombies of some type, but definitely within cosmic horror. And owls. Yeah. At least I think it's an owl. There. Whatever that was, I don't know. <laughs> I, I get... <laughs> part of me gets the feeling that was an audio glitch due to the transition. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, him. Need a hand? No, no, don't move. An elbow and an arm as well. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. Um. did this to you? This island is a hellhole. Not men. Filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last shipment. He shot everyone. Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leading you some bullets. I'll go and find help. <laughs> help? But you'll die like everyone else. Yeah, you might have wanted to keep sitting all the same. <laughs> I'll be back. Um... 
Why are we just ordering that bottle? The, the fact that it's a bit uh, unbalanced. Yeah, and it's some. If one of the angles is his. And hunchback and balloon a little bit, but what the heck just happened? Uh. It sounds like the wolves had a dinner. God. I think wolves. Yeah, wolves take typically wolves can drag things quite well, but uh, I think they'd still struggle climb dragging a human corpse right up a wall. Yeah, especially the big one as well. And they probably would run away after a gunshot. It depends on how desperate they would be for food. I haven't actually figured... I don't actually know what the fire button is yet, but I don't want to waste bullets yet, since, well, survival horror and salt and such. Oh. I hope that sound is lightning in the distance. All oh, right, I think I remember... But these games are actually also kind of famous for these bad controls. Yeah, tank controls. I'm going to take a mo Okay, there's no manual in the box. Only but, the discs. I mean, you can do good tank controls. Yes. This one was known for not doing it well at all. Well, we'll find out when we get our balls bitten off by a wolf. <laughs> Okay. Alt doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, except for getting somehow escaping the game for a moment. Uh, did he have a key with him or anything? I didn't see anything shiny. Oh, okay, so they're not going to be playing it easy with items for us, okay. Yeah, I think that was one of the criticism. I'm surprised. Do the reviews I watched about this game, no one mentioned anything about his revolver. <laughs> like, I feel like the, uh, that should have been mentioned, but that is a rather unique gun. Okay, uh, how do we... Door is locked. I brings up this and, well, the, the Resident Evil vibe continues. Okay. Well, uh, Resident Evil came out before this, I think. Yeah, I, I'm, I get the feeling this game probably took a few, insp uh, quite a, some inspiration from uh, either that one or Resident Evil 2, depending probably on which those, came out. Probably and, those were the <laughs> oldest version were very different from these. Uh, yeah, well, as we can see now, clearly this thing is actually a dub. <laughs> a double action double barrel. I had just looked that up at some point to see if they actually worked. Yeah, I knew that, I believe during the pirate era, there was a time where they experimented with bar guns with multiple barrels. Yeah, but this I don't is especially know pirates. Uh, Okay, luckily there's strong... Oh, that one's free. Oh. And now it's free of life. Which means that there's something worse around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Well... Well, that just ruins the surprise. Guess what? That was the thing that dragged the guy away. Yeah. Bag of magnesium bullets. Okay. Is that supposed to be thunder? Oh. I th That's supposed to be the music. Some uh, or thumping, threatening music is what it's supposed to be, I'm guessing. Okay, we can open this. Oh. Ah, crap. Oh. 
Wait, what? Okay. You know what that means? Yeah, they're... They weren't coming at us, they were running away from something else. Yeah, they're basically... Screw the intruder! There's a worse intruders around here! <laughs> Rick screw <wins. laughs> Yeah, screw you guys, <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay, well, this means that we still have to figure out what the hell the fire button is. So let's actually... I'm going to guess it's going to be spacebar. Yep. Okay. Uh, is Ink in there with you? No. I'm pretty sure I heard a meow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that the, the gun sounds like a meow to you? No, I, I'm pretty sure I heard, I heard a cat. I must have missed that then. And no, she is not in the room. The closest thing to a cat in the room at the moment, or well, the nearest thing to, to me that is nearest to a cat at the moment, if that sentence is, that sounds made is, is a plushie. I also know that the cat only was from the environment. Uh, um. yeah, this thing actually shoots two at a time as well. Oh, uh, Helian? Do you know yeah. something uh, about the dog? Yeah, it's a bit uh, thin and dead looking. Let's see. Can I reload as is? Uh, nothing to see there. Uh, ah. Reload. There we go. Okay, that doesn't seem to waste any bullets, so that is always good. Some games can be real and well, real pains with that in wasting ammo. In in more realistic games, it is nice. Oh, oh come on! Yep, that one went wide. Oh, and he auto reloads when he's empty. Okay, that is always good. It, manual reloads can get really on your skin, especially when you have to open up the menu. <laughs> That's just the height of bad taste. It, it looks like it's been eroded. <laughs> is that with a lion or a bear or a sheep? I or think it's, it's supposed to be a lion, yeah. <laughs> same conclusion at the same time. Yeah, we saw it from the side, it was easier to tell. Okay, the hell was that? It sounded like claws or something. And wings. Bloody heck. Sometimes I wonder how these people pay for all this. But I don't can see what developers like to use these kind of uh, environments. Like, you see, there was a beauty once. And once the beauty is stripped away over erosion and uh, can take it, it, yeah, you see yourself, it kind of gets a, um, the unsettling got stuck. feel. Yeah. It, it, I think the growl is, the growl noise is still stuck. <laughs> it's starting to sound like a weird techno remix. Hey, was that an armadillo head? An, or a naked statue? It's still there's the growl. <laughs> now it's just continuous. Hello. Okay, that's interesting. And yeah, I'm pressing A to sprint here. And oh, hello there. Uh, the hell? Oh, but. <laughs> And... Oh, nope. Come on. Come on. Die, you stupid thing. Hey, use the flashlight. 
and okay that was a bit odd <laughs> mostly due to the camera change there okay uh, and here i thought it was one of those things you need to use the light on if i know like, some things like we to light yeah that's uh alan wake that's alan wake sick and i'm guessing that was elaine <laughs> Is there, just a, is there anything where we can just find some healing stuff? If we want to activate this, but might as well. Okay. That drained a pit somewhere. Or not a staircase. Okay, this stupid thing is invisible for a while. We can back paddle a bit as we fight. Come, there we go. Just before we got in a lot in our hit, I'm pretty sure we'll die on the next hit. And I have no idea where the hell there might be some healing items. Oh, it drank this. Hmm. There's literally nothing around here. <laughs> it's typically a bad sign when it. <laughs> when an entrance to a sewer has crying faces on it. And I actually recognized this from a screenshot I saw ages ago, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be running into something that is going to be the end of Carnsby here. Of Carn and that's the yeah, 25 he... minutes. Wait. We already had tre over 20... Brian Durp, I thought you, well, Brian Durp, I thought you said uh, 35. Uh, 25 minutes. Let's keep going a little bit more to see whatever the hell is here and probably get killed to see what that does. Maybe it has some interesting animations. Oop, uh, hello. Uh, well, <laughs> we got our Shadows answer. Always prevail. Okay, confirm quit. And then we're moving on to the next game. Which, well, a lot of people who probably have heard of this game. Uh, yeah, that it was also quite a disaster. Though one mechanic of it is still worth showcasing, I'd say. <clears throat> oh, Just taking dear. a bit to start up. Oh, oh dear. Now give me a moment to put these away. These side programs that I'm using to keep a track on how well my computer is handling things. <laughs> it's Anthem. <laughs> yeah, people who know of this game will know its reputation. That it was highly anticipated, uh, but when it finally released, it fell flat on its face. Twice. And yeah, at one point, Bioware did say they were going to rework the entire thing, but to my knowledge, nothing ever came of it. Actually, so they, let's that's make what a they new said. Really I, have access. This, I have played this game for a, quite a bit, 15 hours total. And it can be quite fun, but it it's rather shallow when you get start rolling with it a bit. So let's start a new one. Yeah, from our endurance, they had the early access period. It fell flat, and they said they were to rework it. And when they officially released out of early access, says they actually had to put it down for the heavy rework, so no one can play it, and mm. it still failed uh, due to oh. engine issues. What happened here? I'm pretty sure I tried to start a new game, not reboot the game. Okay, why is all of this now here? South all size. Uh, surround stereo. Thank you. And. Okay. Continue and confirm. The hell is. Okay, chains. Okay, it. Why? Did it have to restart? So that. Uh, one of the things that was also infamous with this game was just 
Loading screens for every fucking thing. Yeah. Again, I don't. I think that Bioware did not like working on this game due to the. They were forced to work with an engine they don't like, due to and EA I, here. Yeah, the Frostbite engine is something. It can, it can do things pretty well, but it's also very limited, and it's restarting that when we change pilots. Apparently, no idea why the hell that is needed. But I guess that goes to show immediately, yeah, the problem with loading screens in this game. Let's give this one more shot to the new character. Yeah, active. I should have looked at that. And, well, now everyone knows my origin account name. <laughs> okay, third time to charm with this. Because this game... It is heavily flawed, but it is still very impressive in certain areas. It's just that, well, like I said, shallow. And I wouldn't be surprised if the online services of this game has been have been killed off. This might be what is causing the issue. Okay, this again for some reason. Let's just start. I have no desire to see the mother of these monsters. The thought alone ensures irrational dread in darkened rooms and grey nights in <laughs> restless worry. Anonymous. Okay, let's start the timer now. Actually, to be fair, since I complained about the loading screens, I might as well start it after this. <laughs> uh, I, I hope there isn't a loading bar at the top there, because... It freaking is. Ugh. Well, at least we have visual progress. It actually went faster than I expected. Starting the timer again now. We live in a dangerous world. Uh. The gods who built it vanished. Okay, I'm not getting any sound. I hear Neither sound. Is OBS. I have sound. Is this because I changed the the audio type? The Wait, hell? Can you still hear me? Refuses to be controlled. That's one two. Uh, to survive. To survive, our ancestors invented javelins and built cities with great walls. And built cities with great walls. Today. Today it falls to a dedicated a dedicated group of heroes to face the chaos, protect our homes, and fight for our very survival. Oh dear. And know that that is not the emperor of mankind. <laughs> we leap head on into danger. We leap head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the anthem's terrible cataclysms. But not all cataclysms the cataclysms are created equal. And even freelancers. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the anthem. Of the anthem. Okay, yeah, this would be a lot more impressive if there was bloody sound. This is it. As close as we get with the striders. This is it as close as we get with the striders. Agreed. Looks like we fly from here. Great, look like we fly from here. Ah, Luke, you hear that? Well, teams get cyphers to their amplifiers, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure out the sound on this in a second once we get control. Oh dear. The graphics are still very impressive, as you can see. Never tried to shut down a cataclysm. Oh. Steady Faye. Of us come out of this yeah, she is the cipher. Well, basically, what a cipher is is a mission con control of a sort for each javelin. Okay. might be new, but you won't be here control promise. Hey, Alex, waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go. Thought you could use a head start. See you at the cenotaph. We're heading out. Cenotaph? Cenotaph. What was that again? Uh, yeah, one problem with this game as well is does, it doesn't give much explanation, I believe. 
or at least in-game explanation. Uh, basically, the anthem they are speaking about is the anthem of creation, and on this planet, uh, which I don't know if it's supposed to be Earth in a far fucked future, or uh, some, I believe it is a, a, just a different planet. Uh, some ancient race here was fucking around uh, with well reality and well, fuck the planet. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, <laughs> javelins are basically uh, knockoff Iron Man shoot. Uh, yeah, suits, shoots, suits. <laughs> How did I get shoots from? And again, this would all be a lot more impressive if the sound didn't get fucked. Okay, come on. And it should transfer to gameplay any second now. Storm gets worse ahead. Trying to find a calm Storm gets worse ahead. Trying to find a calm pocket for you. Check in, please. Nope. Yeah, like I said, there, this game certainly has very impressive parts to it, and the, like with Storm, the Frostbite engine isn't terrible. It's just. Not a really great at <laughs> some of the games that people try to use it for. Okay. Yeah, Devil needs a restart. Yeah, needs a restart. bring system back one at a time. Stunning voice recognition. And might as well go with the male voice for the moment. Not that we're going to hear them anyways. Okay, come on. Give me access to the settings so we can try and unfuck the sound. And yeah, I'm, I'm just being a lot more sweary because, yeah, this is just stupid that the sound completely killed itself off. Okay, there we go. Audio. Speakers. Stereo. Surrounds. Okay, let's just go with this. Okay, is that going to return sound? No, what the hell? Give me a second. This is. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had sound earlier. The volume mixer. Okay, it isn't set as muted. So. Hey. Uh, hold on. Hey. Okay, I think I see what is actually going to fuck on now. It's my headset that fucked up again. Ugh. Need to reconnect this thing then, because I can see that the game, yeah, I can see that the game, the the bar is actually moving on OBS. It's just that this stupid thing disconnected itself again. Uh, yeah, I might need to swap this thing out soon. Okay, and still no sound for me at least. That one too. Okay, the hell is going on then? And I'm not hearing anything from Discord either, it seems. Uh, uh, user settings. I'm stopping the timer for this. Uh, poison video. It is set to the usual. Okay, why am I not getting sounds then? Do I need to pair this thing up again? Did Anthem break your system? Okay. It does say that it is connecting. So now I try to start up the driver again. Okay, test one, two. Three, four, five. No, Three, four, no five. sound on my end. The hell is... Uh, okay, I'm going to try and pair this thing up again. Seems that we are just getting... <clears throat> Seems that we're just getting on technical issues a lot lately. So, this is going up. Whilst I try to fix this stupid thing. Bluetooth. Turn this thing off. 
Remove device. Yes. Okay. Add Bluetooth. Pair this thing up. Okay. Connecting. Okay, that is done. And now I have sound. I have one, sound two. for half a second. That's one, two. Can you hear me? Okay, turn that back on there. Make sure that the sound settings haven't been changed. That's one, two. Yep, they did that. So that should be... Um, oh voice meter input. That's one, two. And over here, it's remained the same. Okay, am I going to get sounds now? Nope. Okay, what the other hell? Well, That's one, two. If this keeps on, we might have to call the stream early because stupid technical issues aren't going to... Ugh. Like, seriously, I had sound for a very short bit there. Is this thing just not connecting? Well, it connected earlier. It, it was connected there and I got sounds. Okay, turning it off and on again. This one too. Turn it on here. And again, I get half a second of sound before it cuts out again. It's speaker. It's this somehow screwing with it, perhaps? Okay, I... I don't know when the audio actually cut off for me. It was at the very least when this game was starting. Uh, oh yeah, and Drakir was trying to ping me on the server. Hmm. I d okay, what is going on with this? Voice meter input, that is the one that is sending all of the audio to voice meter, which should then send it all to me. Oh dear. Let's see if it is Anthem that is actually screwing up things here. Even though Test I'm one, still two. not getting any audio from the keyer. Test one, two. Test one, two. Come on. La, 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 la. Okay, yeah, it was freaking Anthem. Because now oh, I am la. getting sound again. Well, I okay. told you there would be something screwing up if you didn't finish downloading it. I don't think it's that. It's probably the settings in it uh, screwing around. Yeah, actually, think about it, I think some people who, who tried to cover it had these kind of issues. Well, I guess that's... <laughs> that Oof, that puts a quick end to that and a very annoying end to it. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Put that down. He, he planned to skip it and I thought so the relief for something when he said he was planned to see Anthem, I feel like this is not a good this is gonna be a disaster, just like Anthem itself. And lo and behold. Yeah. Apparently I'm a prophet. Which means that we're just going to skip that entirely and move on to the next game in line yep. which has a yeah. <laughs> if the game is going to be caught by OBS any second now uh, yeah alone there we go there check we go. it's time uh, welcome to a Apotheon which is well you, you might have heard a bit of this game or at least seen a bit of it because this entire game plays like one of the Greek uh, the, those uh, what are they called again? Uh, there, now there is a specific Urns? name for them, not vase or urn. Wait, the special name? Yeah, there's a, sp a specific name for the Greek vases, uh, which often were decorated like this, but I've completely forgotten them. I don't think I've heard the name. The gods have abandoned you. What love they once gave is now gone. 
The sea gives only water. The woods give only wind. The earth gives only dust. Even the midday sky gives only twilight. And with their shepherds gone, the sheep fall prey to wolves. Without the gifts of Olympus, you are lost to the darkness. Is the game cutting out in bits for you as well, or is it just me again? Sounds just fine for me. Then it's my end again with this. Ugh. Okay, uh... What? What is going on now that it's cutting out? It's just... It's very obviously skipping on my end. There we go. Okay. Uh... The camera isn't responding. It isn't that old. Well, yeah. We move with WASD. Typical stuff here. A syphilis, which is a sword. Yep, the sword that Greeks usually had, the short swords, which were not that short to begin with. But I had the name Syphos, if I remember right. Nope. He's still amongst the living. Our watchmen didn't even see their ships through the darkness. These raiders scum will take everything we have. They're taking prisoners, invading houses, and burning anything they can't pillage. I need you wherever you can stick a blade. Okay, tap. Okay, so we need to find people around, and we have our the map. We gets the map gets revealed as we travel. Wait, a shot? Oh, oh wait, it's probably supposed to be a sickle. Yep. I was wondering, okay. wait, why do they have shot dolls? That's an African weapon. Okay. Let's see about this hunter. Oiron's home, I'm guessing that's supposed to mean. Let's see. Oh, some javelins. And we can swap to our items with one, two, three, and four. Okay. Yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't give a targeting reticule for these. I'm not sure if that's an option for that or not. Oh, I just remember a random Greek pack. What then? Uh. Do you remember seeing many of those old Greek statues? Yeah. They really, it's really discovered they were supposed to be painted. Yep. And they'd they be were... able to find the tra trace of the paint on the statues. Okay. I'm at hunting yesterday. Didn't see a single, a single deer. Went up this morning. Didn't see any rabbits. No birds singing neither. There was always the bird songs in the mornings. Peep, sheep, sheep, tweet. Lots of rats, though. People like rat meat, right? I hear them bandits upstairs. Don't you worry. I'll keep all the rat meat safe. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep the wine safe, too. Yeah, of course. Safe in his gullet. Oh dear. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, many of the Greek statues and buildings were painted. Yep, they weren't always just complete white. Indeed. Though, what the, the scientists discovered is, at least from what they've been able to do with computers, that some Statues should probably remain unpainted. Uh, probably due to the technology, it makes them look, look weird. Very... Yeah, especially on the, around the eyes. 
But again, erosion probably may have uh, this week he did some uh, color fragments uh, a bit wrong. Yeah. And again, they have been able to do something similar with dinosaur fossils. With the feathered dinosaur specifically. Yeah. Combat in this game is pretty simple. We generally stab and swing these things. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do the separate attacks. In, or if it's just random. Right. Okay, I, hopefully it'll t t tell more. I have played this game through before, but that has been a quite a bit ago again. Okay, blacksmiths. I would love to see a series like yeah, accept the game for you, or do you just play it a bit? And say that they were to make a series, but only like two episodes. And yeah. nothing else happened. And that annoyed me wondering was the game bad? Did something happen? Or did it accidentally uh, uh, or did it just accidentally got forgotten about? It's not it's not an amazing game, I'll fully admit that. And the combat probably takes some getting used to, to put it in one way. Oh dear. Especially since it sometimes seems that the uh, what attack you actually throw out is rather random. It's <laughs> speaking Ow. of throw out. <laughs> Another fun fact. Slings were in use even into the Middle Ages and was a very common weapon for the boy. Bloody fact, even Romans used them. And I, I think I see it now. It depends on what way you're po pointing. Why are you standing there and nothing but your skin? That thick skull of yours as good as a helmet. I think I got some old leathers <laughs> in the back you can wear. Grab me that coin box, would you? I want to make sure you can cover the costs. <laughs> Of course. The place is getting raided, and still he only cares about getting paid. Cover up that greasy hide of yours. Let's see. Linen bracers. One, uh, <clears throat> five armor, eighth armor, six armor, and ten armor. Uh, linen bracers, little cap, leg wraps, and a linothorax. Chest armor. Yeah, that's the chest armor, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Doros, which are spears. Siphos, the swords. A new shield. Small shield. Oh, and just plain armor upgrades. Though that is rapidly decaying away as we speak. Anything more we can get from you? Okay. He's going to be busy, so let's keep busy. Clearing out the village, then. Yeah, Let's head please, up this time. Please, please tell me we're going to make a series out of this. Yeah, I definitely want to stream it. Uh, I, like I said, I have managed to finish it before. Get back here, you. And, yeah, it, it seems to be depending on... Or is it depending? Yeah. No, it does really seem random. I, I thought for a moment there that it was dependent on what angle we were attacking at, but no, apparently not. I, I... Or... Is it the movement that I'm... Wait, you got a I... coin for blocking? I probably just picked that up somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I have I have no clue where how to do the or how to specifically do the high and low attacks. It's locked, and we don't have lock picks. No nope, nectar of healing, which we don't need since we have taken only a little damage so far. Okay. Now we have a torch instead of our shields. Which we can swap around, and it, the shields do have health. 
You mean durability? Yeah. New swords. I'm pretty sure these will break eventually as well. And I, I like that if it's if that if when it's when it's dark that it looks like a, an unlit page of sorts. Very nice detail. Can we actually sneak up on this guy? Nope. The moment we get close, he goes aggro. So there's no reason to stay hidden. Oh, hello. Good heavens, my chemtrails. I doused all the lamps and hid up here before they could find me. I'm fine, but you look dreadful. Come closer, my boy. Here, let me show you how to mix a soothing tonic for your wounds. And we get nectar of healing recipe once... <clears throat> oh, pardon. Once magically distilled, this milky fluid will dull pain and mend grievous wounds. And Greek fire recipe. This simple but volatile firebomb splashes clinging fire to anyone unfortunate enough to be nearby. Simple? Th wait, hold on. No. <laughs> no, it's not simple, but they're still trying to figure out how it was done. Yeah, the same with... Uh, what was it again? Uh, a steel uh, treatment. Uh, steel treatment. The Damascus you, you, steel? Was that oh yeah, it? Yeah, the Damascus steel. Yeah, Damascus steel. Yeah, they're still trying to They are getting close, but not really there yet. Okay. Here's our ingredients. Here's our recipes. Just two, just two leaves for a nectar of healing, and just sacrifice, just oil for Greek fire. Okay, let's just make a few of those. Yeah, that's one thing that I don't get about Greek fire. Like, it was a main. It was, it's called Greek fire, but it was the main, mainly used to by, by Babylonians. Uh, if I, if I remember correctly, Damascus steel has an odd pattern on it always, right? Oh, when it comes to Damascus steel, yeah, Damascus steel is even unique due to the patterns. Like, we can replicate the pattern, but not the quality. Yeah, I think that this is just my speculation, for, and could just be completely wrong. But to me, the pattern looks like it, like a form of electricity is used or something. Maybe that, like, it needs to be struck by lightning or something. Well, I think the, the, those batteries found in Middle East have been a uh, suspect due to those your urns were able to reduce a mild electricity that could have been used to make patterns on metal. Why are they doing this? But I don't think that it is the case since they have found bro uh, pieces of uh, Damascus. Okay. And be able to look uh, into that, so it's not probably not just electricity. Okay, secure the granary, we just need to go down. Uh, the maps can be a bit of a maze here. I that's actually going back into the starting area. So up we go, and this way. Oops. But yeah, as someone who enjoys Greek mythology quite a bit, uh, I can assure you we will be streaming this in full in time. Yeah, like I think men enjoy Greek myths. Probably due to since it's one of the few myths that are still well kept and were in written form. Yeah. <laughs> and in a way, you, you could see. You, there's also a lot of variants in. Oh, hello. Greek myth of the same stories. So, in a way, you could say that Greek mythology <laughs> is, the first, is among the first fanfics. <laughs> Just yeah, look possibly. There's like a dozen stories, uh, a dozen different uh, origins. For Medusa alone, and we've already yeah. been in there. Though, I can say this when you compare it to other myths, the Greek gods are sometimes just assholes. Like, as you mentioned, that Medusa, like, she did not deserve to be turned into a monster, she was a victim. Yeah, uh, that is one of the origins given to the Another is uh, similar to Arachne, where she was cursed for pride or something. Yeah, do God stop them. We don't even have enough to last the season. 
But yeah, Arachne, it was a bit unfair punishment. But Medusa was horrible. Like, she should not be punished at all. Like, uh, from the origin, I know Medusa was a priestess or something of Athena's temple. Yeah. Then the god Poseidon came in the temple and um, the all word on Medusa. And for some reason, Athena chose to punish Medusa for it. Yep. But turn her into a monster. I felt like, wait, what? Shouldn't she not punish Poseidon? Uh, could in part be to not cause another war among the gods, but uh, yeah. yeah. When but Poseidon still... starts channeling Zeus, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're all assholes. And I think yeah, that is and... probably the, the biggest story where Athena is an asshole. Typically, she is, well, more well liked. <laughs> yeah, and it just feels weird. Like, sure, in Norse mythology, there has been relocation. The Oda had punished someone that deserted, like a king who was. Dude, the king was behaving very badly to his own people, so Odin chose to punish him in a contest. Without it really, he was Odin. But when it comes to Greek gods, in many cases they just. Just really douchey. Yeah. And, and a lot of it. And Still it comes to Norse to gods, it's, it's more among themselves or by guidance than humans. Greek gods, I'm bloody, I think we've read a story that Zeus, in case you have not liked humans at all, he has a bit of even exterminated humankind twice. Yeah. So, when I heard about the God of War games, I thought, alright. After a few stories, I realized, okay, makes sense for Kratos to fight the gods due to how they are. But when it comes to. There were no creators to the new God of War games we fight the Norse gods, so I feel like, wait, that... Okay, there's no excuse here for him to fight the Norse gods here. No, it, it was the Norse gods, or at least one of them, who came looking for trouble with Kratos first. <laughs> yeah, but they also, but I feel like they had to force mythology twisting around just to make that work. For the Greek gods, it worked just fine already. Okay. But, yeah, and, and to some people it's a surprise, I am... Um, I'm not... I, I don't hate the God of War games, I just... I'm just not interested in them, really. I, I had tried to watch the new one, I just... It just didn't click. I actually have that one for PlayStation 4 still, uh, though I've already watched an entire playthrough of it. I, I still want to give it a try sometime, though. Uh, I'm not sure if for stream or just for my own. We'll just have to see. It is rather lengthy and a lot yeah. of cinematic. Like, the film room is cinematic, but then they have a two hour deadline, so to say. Oh, yes, my, my, my sibling, my eyes there. Uh, yeah, we have to be careful with some games. To not accidentally enter a very long cutscene before we end the stream or something. Okay, we can pick locks. Like another one for the rocket. Bet you do well in the arena. Please have mercy. Oh dear. But yeah, one well, of the other well. games we probably wanna play stream is uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and Hack Memory. Yeah. All the problem is. Some dialogue can be rather lengthy in that one. Yeah. And the cinematic cutscenes. Um, uh, go on. Yeah, as is probably obvious, the combat in this game isn't too deep. It's generally it's like freaking rock and sock and robots, but with uh, vase <laughs> figures. <laughs> that the two sides just end up bashing into each other over and over, and I forgot to go check. Their leader is on the war path. We need to rally to the temple. Give me a oh, second yeah. <laughs> to loot the, their hold. It is nice that it does show stuff like this out in the open, without requiring any maps or such. You only need to just find it. Let's see. A saga, a saga is powerful and heavy axe capable of cleaving a man in two. 35 damage. 
another healer and oh we get an armor upgrade it, which looks like a stupid fish hook upside down I, I know they had some hammers that was sort of like that just not literally a hook on a hat we what look like heck? we should be hanging from an assembly line I, I i hope that's supposed to be a feather and not a hook Okay. Our armor has been taking the brunt so far. Oh dear. Oh um, gosh. I just remember now. Oh my gosh. There was one game I played called Star Ocean for PlayStation 3. And one of the cutscenes, cinematic cutscenes, were. I swear to Odin here, was bloody 30 minutes long. Uh, well, we had it with Okami that it took like, what, 20 minutes to get to the gameplay? Yeah, that, that was a mix of cinematic and tutorial. But True. yeah, it was ridiculous. And that was a stone game. This I'm talking about was nearing the end of the game. Where you, you were about... Basically, you had 30 minutes of cinema. But you don't control anything, you can't pause it, you can't, you don't click, you have to listen non-stop to the conversations and the scene before you enter the final arena area. I must not finish the game even, for I was lost. Uh, but yeah, for reason, understandable reason, reasons. Yeah, reason I remember it so well is because I, I, I was wanting for it to finish, I could go out of my dorm room to go and grab evening meal, the last meal of the day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was 20 minutes late for it and I did not miss it. But my friends there were wondering, why do you take so, took so long, Drakir? You're usually here on time. And I explained the bloody cutscene. Oh, Holy heck. Uh, bless you. Yep. <laughs> That's one of our guys. Yo, Wait, he's he just... <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is supposed to be, actually. Could it be Zeus? Uh, uh, it could be Zeus, maybe. Hello, Griffin. A griffin with. Do we have the sense of that? I uh, don't think so. Uh, wait, what? There we go. Oh. It's giving some reminders. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's a certain reminder, it's just an arrow to the face. Okay, now the music is getting good. Yeah. This is literally the, the sacking of a temple, and I hope he's just looting over there. Yeah, probably it's a looting or eating. Now we're raiders. <laughs> Could be both. Or worse. And, oh yeah, the sword is about to break because there's... Oh, it's starting to get cracked open. Okay, now we are taking health damage because our armor is gone. And so is his. We, we do have limited stamina. It's the green bar on the left there. Wasn't really pointed out, I think. Okay, let's oh heal. Okay, those heal for 50. Temple key required, okay. Yeah, I need something to drink. Be right back, so don't die. All right, I'll probably just be running her back for whatever, for wherever the key is. Or up here. Luckily, we not... That was a waste. Luckily, they we're not hurt by stepping into wa uh, fire like that. Yep. Another one wasted. God save us this 
sealed the door behind them, but I have the spare key. Take it, take it. Key. Okay. And we are ah. using a club now. Let's see. Yeah, for some reason, I expected that guy to give, that gave the key to also give you a cookbook. <laughs> okay. He had one of those voice. That when everything is burning down, there is come at you, run your book, and went to you to take the book and claim it's a cookbook. Okay, we're using a spear now, which has quite a bit of wind up. Uh, let's try the axe, where it's in exchange. Oop. Is very slow, but very powerful. And let's swap out our shields for a better one. Yeah, much better one. That's a lot bigger. Uh, we have long picks, okay. Let's heal up again. And. Okay, another upgrade for hell armor. Okay, that's a uh, that's a feather. Very obvious a feather. Oh, hello. I sing of gold uh, throne Hera, whom uh, <clears throat> whom Rhea bear, uh, bear. Queen of the Immortals is she, surpassing all in beauty. She is the sister and the wife of loud thundering Zeus, the glorious one whom all the blessing had, uh, oh, yeah, whom all the blessed throughout high Olympus re uh, reference. An honor, even as Zeus, who delights in thunder. Homeric him 12 to Hera. Okay. Let's unlock this as well. Yep. And that was the 25 minutes uh, marker, but we'll finish off this bass battle that is upcoming. With heads carved from rare hydra bone, these arrows split into three shafts when loosed. Okay. Okay. I think I expect them to be. Using Hydra Tifus arrowheads. Okay, now we're up here. Another shield. The, not another shield to swap. Okay, this is background. Out of my way, peasant. The gods have forsaken you. Resign to your fate and leave this world to stronger men. And yeah, boss fight. Basically, mo. Most of the bosses base move almost the same as you. Uh, though some will, of course, have tricks. Yeah. Okay, just gotta keep beating on this guy. Try and get around his shields. I was yep. wondering, why do you keep bringing up the bow in melee? No. <laughs> Another axe, yep. Stats red for coin. And so, a champion is born. A lone bright ember glowing from within a dying heart. Arise, my chosen. Arise, Nicandrios. You stand before Hera, fairest amongst all goddesses, divine queen of Olympus. Under the shadow of the mountain, humanity gasps its last breath. The gods have abandoned you. Zeus, king of gods and men, my husband, has turned his back on your people. He has broken the sacred contract between deities and mortals. He has betrayed you. You see, we are alike, you and I. Wife and son, wounded by husband and father. Unfaithful in matrimony, he discards his oaths for lesser creatures. Irresponsible in patriarchy, he discards his mortal subjects like an ungrateful child tossing away his toys. Yeah, she's not entirely wrong. And the Olympians are compelled to obey. Without the seeds of Demeter, your crops fail. Without the grace of Artemis, your forests are barren. Without the gaze of Apollo, your minds stumble in darkness. But I, as queen, am not so easily cowed. Step to the altar, Nicandrios. 
All right. Uh, that yeah. makes things a lot more interesting all of a sudden, huh? Yeah. No, I kind of like to see that she's for what's not a villain, as she's sometimes portrayed as. Choice. Ascend Mount Olympus. Strip these callous gods of their power and cast down Zeus from his lofty throne. Stand up to the cruel deities of Olympus and earn your people's salvation. Or remain here without the gifts of the gods and watch your world turn to ashes. Not much of a choice, huh? Yeah. Too long has my husband escaped the consequences of his actions. But together, we will take what is owed. In a way, this is a 2D God of War. <laughs> a mortal going to go yeah. slay their gods. But there is where we will leave this one. So no. there's no there's no, no. Real reason to save since no. we'll start over. No, no, <laughs> it's, all, it's happening all over again. No. <laughs> okay, now what to make it up to you? Uh, we already have a few games planned in the main week streaming uh, series. Uh, Rayman Two, then another game I'm not going to say at the moment. Then Rayman Three. I. And I don't think we have anything planned for the immediately between Rayman 3 and Rayman Origins. So we could stick a Potheon in between. Uh, can I just say that name again? A Potheon. Or, um, there you go, now you said it correctly. <laughs> and the joke with the name is it's an apathetic... Uh, uh, ap ap apathetic? Uh, the, the, the opposite of empathetic, uh, Patheon. A poem. Yeah, uh, and you pronounce it to sound like a poo pun earlier. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, this is a definite yes on whether we will stream it or not. So, yeah, like, I, I know I like, yeah. tried to watch it on YouTube, but then something was sort of without commentary. We just made it very boring to watch. Yeah, like again, probably because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rock'em Sock'em Greeks. <laughs> That's what the combat bounce boils down to mostly. So looking at the clock, we can still take on the fourth game. I don't think we'll have time for the fifth for the fifth. Uh, due to well how long it took with some of these things. And yeah, <laughs> this game is Aqua Kitty Milk Mine Defender. And the only real reason that I'm putting this on today is because we agreed to be less <clears throat> picky with the games that we showcase. So uh, unless something ac absolutely does not work or absolutely is trash, uh, we will showcase it. <laughs> uh, you want me to read this? <laughs> Go ahead. When their milk went dry, cats worldwide desperately sought out a new source. I will let you read the cat. Boo-hoo. Very good. Then deep under the ocean was a mound of what appeared to be naturally forming full fat milk were discovered. A hazardous extraction f followed. The milk must flow. So was I the guess in grabber? About. <laughs> so I guess in this uh, world the cats killed all the cows. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrifying thought. <laughs> and yeah, th this is a pretty simple game, and, but to my surprise, I recently discovered that it actually has a sort of sequel, which is a lot more expansive on the Switch, actually. Uh, is that, oh, is that sure? a blobfish on the deck? <laughs> that is a blobfish. I, no, that's a squid. <laughs> it's a squid with a radio. <laughs> Uh, wait, oh wait, on the, the, I said they gonna be something else there on crane. <laughs> but yeah, this game is it's it's similar to some old flash games where you have to defend stuff, only while well, you're a cat in the ocean. Let's see. Hurry there, kitty, let's keep that milk flowing. Defend miners. Hello. <laughs> okay, why why are the cats speaking Dutch? From the jelly crabs? 
and I take photos of fishies. Destroy all robo fishies. The paleo fish. Wait, you also say hello? Yep. We do too. Hello there. <laughs> hello. And uh, yeah, we we can steer around. I'm using the con yeah. I'm using the controller now. What we fire with A, we can rapid fire with B, but that drains that bar up there. We what the heck the just happened? happened? Hmm? I'm gonna raise your volume. Okay, you can speak no. again. Is the microphone glitching out again? There you go, now you sound normal again. Okay. You, your volume suddenly dropped a few. You, you, you wouldn't have been straight away, like, for some streams ago, you were very loud, so I lowered your volume on my hand. Okay, that... Now I have to raise it up again. Hold on, test one, two, test one, Three, two. four, five. Okay, I, it looks you... like... It looks like on OBS my volume has dropped as well. Fuck. Yeah, uh... it just suddenly happened. Let me... You might want to turn it... Actually, you know, you're not getting the audio from the OBS, so it's, this shouldn't affect you. Yeah, I get the audio from Discord. Microphone, let's... Up that. Test one, two. That's Three, four, be better. Five. That's just weird yep. that that suddenly happens. Yeah, kind of weird. I thought you first you, you went far away for your microphone. Nope. Okay. I was pressing the X button there, because that's typically a fire button, and fail. Oh no, switch that kitty back onto the ship and let's try again. <laughs> of course yeah. it's a game that Helium buys. It, it, was, <laughs> it was on sale, to my defense. Helium, that was the worst excuse I ever heard for you. You bought it for the head cat. Maybe. But yeah, we have we have a mini map up, up top that shows where the enemies are coming from and where the miners are. Wait, we have are our these, health. To the left. Are these robo fish? Yep. The question is, who is making them? I'm not sure that is ever explained because this is just a simple arcade game. And I forgot to start the timer, though we can probably just call it in a few, because there isn't too much to this game. Or at least, I don't remember there being much, even though I got through quite a few levels, as it was visible at the level select. Yeah, a bit short to something someday, or Sunday's showcase, but it happens. Sometimes we go overtime, for a while we actually went overtime quite often. Yep. <laughs> So, at least it really is bad we had one game that gave technical difficulties. New enemy? Okay, I don't remember this. Trying to chain enemy kills to increase score. Spotting faces is dangerous work. Puffa boom. No tar explosions can be very helpful. Okay. Aqueroid. Aqueroid Puffa. Okay, I'm guessing the enemy are known as Aqueroid. Apparently. This, I guess, means you enemies are the fish. And yeah, if we get hit by attacks or run into an enemy, we will take damage. And we will always take damage if a miner is kidnapped by the kidnapping fish, like this one is attempting. Uh, but yeah, there's not much to this game. I have to say, uh, usually when the cats have enemies, it usually is, well, dogs, but sometimes rats, but fish kind of makes sense. If you think about it. True. Yep, that is going, so, that was quite a chain. Uh, uh, cats, uh, it's kind of funny. Cats love fish, but many cats hate water. True. So if you... If you base them from a very young t age, they can be pretty good with water. 
Yeah, unless you get those special cats that hunt by water, or rather, the actual fish fish. Don't fish the fish. Sub is immune to, uh, to all explosions. Okay. Top uh, shelled and dangerous in groups. Nautilus. What? I, th I think it's called a fisher cat or something. Cat that almost have webbed feet. Okay. I and they so love yeah, water. Them. But you haven't? Nope. I'm I know surprised. That I know that big cats uh, are a lot more affable to water than oh, people would typically believe. Oh, hello there. Goodbye. Yeah, I can say this. If you f look up Fisher Fish after the stream, you can see people mistaking them for house cats. Except they love water, since that's. They actually actively hunt fish. Okay. Um, there also was something that I would show you yesterday, but I'm kind of drawing a blank on what it was again. Oh, I remember. Dragon Quest Joker. Uh, yeah. One and two. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. And now suddenly I feel like your damn secretary. <laughs> well, for Wanted to bring your coffee as well. Okay. Watch the color of their eyes as they move. My aura ups goldfishy and silverfishy. So busy, can't help <laughs> for long. Uh, timed support, bombs or health. Timed weaponry oh, on the no. silver one. Okay. Reminds me, the other day I was thinking about goldfish and I forgot to look it up. But there's one thing about goldfish that always annoyed me. And I keep forgetting to look it up and that's... Where the heck is goldfish from? Like, like where they are naturally from or where the name yeah. is from? Uh, naturally from, like... Uh, we all, uh, all, only ever seen goldfish in fish bowls. Never in wild. But I ever heard a documentary mentioning goldfish. Hmm. It could be that they and were bred to be golden, that there are no natural occurring goldfish. Because we have that with uh, dogs. Uh, I feel like I heard it were naturally golden for the awesome bird called for fishes out there. But yeah, I, 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 after this thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up go, wild goldfish. For I am so bloody curious. Okay. Yep, and we got killed. <laughs> and uh, on that, let's leave it at that. I'd say this could. Well, as is obvious, I had quite some fun with this game, but it's not streaming material. <laughs> easily said. <laughs> Yeah. Soundtrack? You can buy the soundtrack? Apparently, yeah. Uh, the sort of sequel might be of some interest because that actually is a full on. Well, uh, I don't think. I don't know the full details of it, but it basically looks like the Steamworld heist of uh, the series. In that it's. Yeah, it seems to be more exploration and possibly RPG-like. So more story. True. Hopefully. I will run a test on it eventually. And I will have to get it to run... Not, not to run through the, an emulator or something. I, I just need to get the video capturing on the Switch working again. But for now, uh, let's go look for someone to raid as we go to here. So we're not wasting all of that space. All right, I've uh, heard the flame cannons. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm going to be looking at changing up the overlay a bit, perhaps again, make the window bigger to basically extend it towards the corner. I might need to cut in on chat's area a bit. And because I actually, uh, before all of this overlay, I'll go back to it, or a good chunk of this overlay was uh, separate uh, things. I. The box above me I added to the overlay itself that used to be separate. I'll have to find that one again and basically remake the uh, overlay partially again. Uh, pro probably move chat over to the right a bit more, make the box a bit thinner to make the big, uh, <laughs> the big windows uh, fit. But uh, I'll 
I'll tinker around with that. For now, let's see. Anyone we know who is on? Uh, Kaskuzuk. Who is that? They are streaming Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I, I'm drawing a blank on who they are. Um, let's see then. They are the only ones I am followed to who is online at the moment. So let's take a look around. There is someone called Sleo9 who is streaming Mega Man Battle Network 2, which they, <laughs> in their title, they misspelled it as Mega Man. <laughs> uh, there it is. It's a freaking fly here. Then we have someone called Varia XLP who is streaming Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Oh dear. QDFM, who is streaming Celeste. And most of the others are set as just chatting or are a bit vague for me to <laughs> raid. So, which of those sound interesting? Bodus Gate Enchanted, just because Nostalgia. I have played Bodus Gate when I was a kid. Okay, so muting the site, so there isn't going to be any echoing of sorts. Copy the name over from their channel, just to avoid typos and such. Head over to our channel, slash raid, and there we go then. Uh, yeah. For today's batch, it was uh, a bit mixed. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, I'd, I'd be willing to try it. Uh, I'd probably have to keep a guide at hand just to figure out what the hell to do with everything. Uh, it, it could not. it could work for October. Maybe, yeah. And Anthem, yeah, it is it is a it's a pretty cool game, not an exactly great game, but if it's going to have audio issues or just general cause audio issues, then it's a hard nope on that. A yeah, post on it's a yes. Wanna know something weird about Anthem? Hmm? I could hear the I could hear everything. You couldn't. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it's because I changed the audio setting to a different type, and then it just fucked off with that for some reason. And, well, we already said Aqua Kitty, Mild Mind Defender. It, it's it's for some people to continue playing on further, but not for our streams, at least. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone has been watching now or later. Thank you, Starbucks C17, for hanging around for a bit. And thank you, as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Uh, sorry for interrupting you there. No, thanks. Uh, the raid timer is just running low. So, uh, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seeing.